Abby phoned me up and told me about your conversation. He was diagnosed about seven years ago. My life expectancy is normal. My particular course of MS is called relapsing remitting, which means I should experience total recovery after attacks. Abby gives me injections of something called beta serum, and that reduces the frequency. Fever and stress tend to be two things that'll induce an attack. Well, you're president of the United States. You're delivering the State of the Union address tomorrow night. India and Pakistan are pointing nuclear weapons at each other, and you have a 102 degree fever. So I guess we're out of the woods. Hmm? 101.9. Jed, of all the things that you could have kept from me, I... You haven't called me Jed since I was elected. Why didn't you tell me? Because I wanted to be the president. That wouldn't have stopped me from getting you here. Jed, would you like me to hear your confession? Yes, please. Bless me, Father. Why haven't I ever been able to get her to like me? I'm asking you. Sir, I'm not sure it's appropriate. I'm asking you. Well, I think you're wrong. I'm not. She worships you, Mr. You're President. You're mad at me. Well, you're mad at her. Yes, I am. Sir. I was running for president. Where the hell was she? She was with us. Not like Zoe and Liz. Sir. She's always belonged to Abby. You frightened her. No, I didn't. Sir. How did I frighten her? Jed, look where you're standing. I was elected two years ago. She's 24 years old. You've been the king of whatever room you've walked into her entire life. You never seem to intimidate Zoe or Liz. Well, kids are different. They're not the same. You'd be amazed. You'd be stunned at how soon they understand they're not their father's favorite. That's not true. Sir? That's not true. Mr. President. No, no, no. I will bear with the nonsense of the Christian right and the Hollywood left and the AFL-CIO and the AARP and the Cannabis Society in Japan, but I will not stand and allow someone to tell me that I love one of my children less than the others. She's frightened of me? She ain't the only one. My clerks are preparing a brief. There's an Arab-American man, Mimoud, grabbed out of a line at the airport. What's next? Tribunals, identity cards, barcodes, tattooed on our forearms. Then give me a name. Daniel Robinoff, New York State Supreme Court. Susan Bengali, Ninth Circuit they won't confirm them, will they? <laughs> I have good days and bad, but on my worst day, I am better than the amped up ambulance chasers. You could get confirmed by the Senate. You can't do it, Jed. You're not strong enough. The speaker's running the table, and I can't take a chance. That was a bad bed we made. Had to live with it in my day, but it's time for a change. Trust the people, Jed. Don't make rational decisions. In the deserts of Arabia, are there any rational decisions? 
Excuse me, sorry, Mr. President. Raiding the pantry, Toby? Just a prop, sir, to help me with the eulogy. You know President Newman? Yes, sir. Voted for you a couple of times. You seem to be voting against me at the moment. It's hard to get Toby to speak his mind. Yes, Mr. President, it just seems to me that most Muslims on the Arabian Peninsula believe they must choose between the law of Allah and the laws of man. I see. Arabs don't make rational decisions, only fundamentalists ones. Without strong guidance, the popular elections could be a one-time event. Strong guidance? You think we should colonize? No, I think we should run away as fast and as far away as we can. I think our friends in Britain would argue it's the best way to midwife modernity. And didn't they do a bang-up job with the Arabian Peninsula? Mr. President, President Bartley, is Leo, sir. Do you want to? No, I'll take it here. Would you excuse us, Mr. President? But I paid a premium. His people hate us. Of course they hate us. Because we support their oppressors. Because we are their oppressors. Glenn, I'm not sure we have the stomach for empire. I'm not looking for empire. I'm not looking to colonize. If this protest is a call for democracy, I think we should create a provisional secular government, oversee the transition, and get out as fast as we can. Leaving them with a weak state and a hated Vichy government. You really want to make a difference, Jed? And support this Arugina from the sidelines. You start saddling up camels in every country in the Middle East, then you better be prepared to spend the next 50 years sifting through sand. Because this isn't a quick run on the beach, Jed. This is the new world order. Mr. President, we're ready for takeoff. Thank you. 